Hey you guys and uh, welcome back to another vlog. Um, it is, what's today? Tuesday? Wednesday? It's Wednesday. It is Wednesday <laughs> and I just ended my work day. Um, I am making a quick Walmart run. Um, one because it's close and then two because I just needed a few things oh your girl <laughs> listen to me William CPAP broke probably I mean this has to be the third week now you guys week number three of a broken CPAP and when I tell you guys William has sleep apnea, and those of you who have a spouse, uh, family member, somebody you live with <laughs> that has sleep apnea, you guys know uh, what I'm going through. You feel my pain? Because when I tell y'all, this girl ain't getting no sleep over here, baby. We, we team no sleep whatso whatsoever, okay? So, I need to get some earplugs, you guys. Like, it's so bad. Like, it's so, so bad that I, I, I feel like I'm gonna lose my mind, you guys, if I don't get something. And here's the kicker. His doctor is out of town until, oh, today, today. He actually comes back today on the 17th. However, you guys, I, like I said, we've been without it for three weeks. So he went in, he talked to the people. They're like, oh, your doctor's on vacation until the 17th. You're going to have to come back on the 17th. What? I'm sorry. He has sleep apnea, people. You, you know that means that he stops breathing in his sleep, right? Yeah, I do know that that's what that means, right? And so, you know, there was no sense of urgency. And y'all, my husband has come a long way because let me tell you, when you talk about somebody setting it off, if he getting some bad service, baby, he knows how to set it off. But he has come such a long way. He's so calm now. <laughs> I think my I think my calm has rubbed off on him a little bit cuz baby he be ready for the fight. Do you hear me? 10 toes down, ready. But he was like, "Ma'am, I cannot wait um until the 17th." So, the lady was like, "Okay, well somebody's going to call you later about, you know, I'm going to give it to the nurse and see if she can help you." No call. The next day, no call. So, he went right back up there and he was she was like, okay uh, mr adams we go well, the, the other doctor will be able to sign off and we can order your cpap so sure enough we get a call from her the next the the same day that afternoon she was like hey i put in the um the order for it you know you should be getting it in the next couple and we thought she was gonna say days do you know that lady said a couple of weeks we were like what We've almost wasted a whole week just getting you guys to order it. So the lady said a couple of weeks. So we're like, okay, whatever, at least it's ordered. So about a week and a half after they said they ordered it, William called to check on it. Why? Y'all, I can't make this up. Why did the lady say, oh, that order has been canceled? <laughs> what? Lady, what did you just say? I'm sorry, huh? Because we, we must have a miscommunication going on. The lady was like, it was canceled because we were informed that you needed an exam before they can before they can order the CPAP. An exam? Ma'am, an exam from who? My doctor out of town to the 17th. Who's supposed to give me an exam? Well, you, you got to have the exam. We cannot order the CPAP without the exam. Y'all, not only was William about to lose it, baby, I was about to lose it. Like, my husband can raise the dead without his CPAP. 
And I promise y'all, I am not exaggerating. So he's like, ma'am, I don't know who I got to see. All I know is my doctor's not here, so I need to see somebody today, right now. And so the lady was like, okay, okay, well, hold on, Mr. Adams. Let's see what we can do for you. So they, they got him seen the same day. Even the doctor that saw him was like, they did not, you ain't have to do all this. They they just needed to order CPAP. So, long story longer, we still waiting for the CPAP, baby. This is week number two that we in right now. I mean, and, and we don't know what's going to happen when we follow up. We don't know. So, I need some earplugs, y'all. And I just need a few other things to, to finish dinner. That That's really it. So, I, I, I need to share that with y'all because I feel like that was my therapy. And thank y'all for coming to my TED Talk because, y'all, I'm one of them people that if I don't have my sleep, it, it's just not good. I, it's not good. Okay? The devil know he be busy, honey. He be, listen... I'm feeling better now, now that I've got this patch. And baby, now he's trying to mess with my sleep. Oh, devil. Oh, devil. Okay. Okay, you mess with the right one because, see, God don't play by me. Okay? That's one thing you about to find out the hard way. He don't play by me. Okay, y'all, so this is where we're supposed to be at. They got all types. Quiet, quick, quiet time, and then all these other ones. Baby, I definitely want something that say quiet. So we're going to either, I think we're going to go for these. Um, Protex. One of these. One's $192 and one is $328. There's five pair in here and ten in here. I, I might go for this one because, I mean, I got five pair and they're reusable. So, I think, uh oh, oh Lord, I'm about to drop them. I think we're going to go for these and we're going to pray for the best. That's what we're going to do. Have you guys seen the new Bridgerton flavors of cream? This one is berries and cream. This one is the English toffee. This is the one I've been wanting to try. I don't know about berries, but I'm gonna try it. I don't know where that goes from here. We're still gonna try it. It is definitely not, not good for me. Okay, so we are back from Walmart, just like that. When I tell y'all in and out, I meant in and out. And I did not pick up much. So let me let me show you guys. Ooh, I was really happy to find this. It's the Bridgerton creamer. Yeah, I had stopped buying this cream because I know it's not very good for me, but just a touch, just a little touch in my coffee is not too bad. It is the English toffee. I went for the whipping cream for dinner tonight. Baby, I got these finally. I got some earplugs. So, William and our marriage can last another day. Really? Ain't that right? It's still, our uh, marriage uh, gonna uh, survive listen, another day? I hope so, because I can't wait to put them in, because I cannot sleep another night with you, all that bear calling you doing. Ridiculous. Lies. Lies. Don't get fooled by the face, y'all. Lies. So, I got the earplugs. These sausages, do y'all like swagger these? Have y'all tried them? Best sausage in my opinion. They also have a spicy one, but we don't go for the spicy in this house. So I got those. I picked up, I was running low on my calcium, magnesium, and zinc. You guys, this is so good for like joints. Super good if you have those old nasty muscle spasms that sometimes I'll have. These are so good for those. So if you don't have this, get some in your life. I needed some more bananas for my acai bowl or sometimes I'll do uh, 
yoga parfait or whatever, but I need some bananas. And what else did I pick up, y'all? I picked up something else that Lauren already didn't pack away, but that's that's pretty much it, y'all. I didn't get a whole lot. Now I'm gonna try to get dinner started because I'm running late. Happy Saturday, y'all. Oh my gosh, the sun is so bright this morning. It is a beautiful Saturday morning. Um, not a cloud in the sky. And I believe it's supposed to be around 60 degrees today, which is okay with me, honey. That is fine by me. So I am up. I know, I didn't even pick up the camera yesterday, y'all. Because I think the last time y'all saw me was Thursday. It was, it was kind of a crazy day. But, uh, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here, y'all. And doing the best I can. Okay, so y'all be with me. Um, I wanted to run a Ross this morning. Yeah, our Ross is, like everybody else's, it's touch and go. You know, you don't know what you're going to get. But it's a pretty good one. I mean, people come from other parts of the city to our Ross, which I don't like. Y'all know I don't, because they be trying to grab all the good stuff. Yeah, they need to stay in their little neighborhood. It is not our fault that your Ross ain't doing what ours is doing. So, um, I try to get here early on Saturdays, because when I tell y'all, baby, the people be up in here, and ain't nobody trying to stand in line for 30 minutes if you only got like two, three items. I mean, come on. And so, yeah, so I'm here early just to look. I, I, I really don't have anything um, specific in mind, you know? I, I really would like to get something for um, the table that I just, that we just purchased. Something, so, some type of decor for the table. Um, I bought the cutest, like, little, um, almost like a ruffle looking bowl two weeks ago from Ross y'all and I'm gonna show it to y'all when we get home because I gotta show y'all stuff anyway and they had a second one and I was like Felicia you should probably get the second one too do you think I got the second one no and I'm sorry the lighting right here is awful because of where I'm parked but no do you think I got the second one of course I didn't of course I didn't and I should have so I am praying by some small miracle that um, they'll have another one in here because I really want it. So yeah, wish me luck. Let's go up in here to Ross because this lady over here in her car looking at me like I'm crazy, but here we are. That's just where we're at right now. So let's go. <laughs> Nice. It's nice. It's only twenty nine ninety nine. Is this supposed to be a nod to Beyonce? I don't think it is. All in the way. I don't see the balls I'm looking for. Shout out to the fitting room, Shout out to the fitting room. I do not see the balls. And I'm going to have to go because this music is super loud this morning. Super loud. We can find anything that will work for this table, child, because I ain't found nothing in Ross. That's why I wasn't showing y'all nothing because it was nothing to see. And I don't see much here either. Uh, I don't see much now. 
what I did see. Put you on that. What I did see at Ross was a lot of these. And this one is twelve dollars. Like these vases are very popular right now. I have several. Here's another one, kind of a smoky color. This one is more blue. Ten dollars, twelve dollars. I don't see much, y'all. Uh... Did you know that you could get ten percent off your purchase today? Apply for a TJX Rewards credit card. With approval, you'll also These two are kind of cute. They both board. have that crackled kind of look about that. Ten dollars. This one don't have a price. So it's probably like twelve or fourteen. Maybe a cute, but not for a table. What I really want, you guys, is like a bowl, like three identical bowls that I can put some moss in, and I think that would be cute for that table. Something simple, because like I said, we we sit at that bad boy every day. This is different. Seven ninety nine. Mm. I don't see much out. All right, friends. That that was a big old flop. Like we got a bomb, TJ Maxx, and baby, I had never seen it looking as horrible and bare as it was looking just now. So I think that is a sign for me to. Try it again another day for TJ Maxx and for Ross for that matter. Um, I may go to Home Goods later if I feel up to it. I am here at Tropical Smoothie Cafe and I am about to get me a chia bowl, a chia pudding bowl, and I want to taste it for the first time with you guys. So stay tuned, please. Okay, so I am back home, you guys. So here is the chia pudding bowl. I added strawberries. I think I already told y'all that. It only comes with banana and blueberry, and I added the strawberry. So that's what it looked like. I can't wait to try it. They ain't give me no spoon, but I got a spoon. And then I got, I, tr I also ordered the breakfast quesadilla. I'm probably going to get one of these little squares and get the rest of Lauren. It looks pretty good. We'll, we'll, we'll see what that tastes like. Okay. But yeah, and then I have a few items from Ross that I'm going to show you guys. Okay. So there it is without the top on there. That's a little Greek yogurt. There's the granola. I can see the... um honey drizzle and all that good stuff and uh yeah let's 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 go for it and i'm gonna try to dig down in here far enough where i can get some of the actual pudding the chia pudding and it does have oats i don't know if i told y'all that but yeah oats chia bananas all the good stuff yogurt so i think i got a pretty good amount of everything on there Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's good, y'all. Baby, it's good. And I'm glad I added the strawberries. Because it just adds a little something extra to it. Oh. It's so good. I'm right. I tried it. I wasn't sure how the oats would be. I'm like, I hope they ain't gonna be all soggy or anything, but they got a nice little crunch. Mmm. And honey gives it, you know, just the right amount of sweetness. And y'all, I'm not a big Greek yogurt fan. So if you wondering, okay, 
I hate what you're saying, Felicia, but I don't like Greek yogurt. Girl, me either. I do not like Greek yogurt. But this right here is so good. It's refreshing. It's that hint of sweetness without it being too sweet. And of course, y'all already know, with fruit and chia and all that, and even Greek yogurt, so many good things for you in this bowl. Now, like I said, it's $8. So, sis ain't gonna be going to get this every day. But for a little treat once or twice a week, oh yeah, I would. And it's literally right up the street. So, yes, y'all, this is the chia pudding bowl. I, I, I think it's fruit bowl or something like that, but so good. Y'all gotta try it. Okay, and so I just got the one little piece of quesadilla. I gave the rest to Lauren. Let's see what this tastes like. It's a little thin. It's actually pretty flavorful. Mm -hmm. I would give it a thumbs up. This is the sausage, egg, and cheese quesadilla. Morning, you guys, and happy Saturday. Um, I am up early this morning. Well, it's early. It's early. I've been actually out already. <laughs> and um, I wanted to show you guys that I found some options, some bowl options for this table. And I know y'all be thinking, Felicia, what type of bowls are you looking for? Well, you guys know we got the new table and it needs something. And I wanted something that's going to be functional as well as, you know, modern. You know, it's it has to be it, it has to be aesthetically pleasing. Okay, so I did find a couple of options today at Ross. Okay, so let me show y'all the first option that I saw. Okay, because I have an issue with bowls, and maybe if it's any type of scalloped or anything like that, I'm here for it. Okay, so these look at these. Okay, so I found this big one. For $14.95, and I found the smaller, smaller one for $12.99. And y'all, these are duped for something. I just don't know what, but they're duped for something. And I love that they're not like shiny gold. It's more of a antique gold, and I like that. The only problem with this option is that they only had one big one and one little one. And the size of this table, I need at least three. At least three three bowls all together. Okay, so yeah. I also found another bowl at Ross this morning and they had three of them. And here they are. <gasps> yeah, when I saw these, I was like, yes. These could definitely work, okay? And here they are. <sighs> Y'all, I think these can do it. To me, they are modern. I love the fact that they are white with us going into the warmer months. Like, white is so appropriate. It's fresh, it's, it's saying spring, it's saying summer. But guess what? I would keep these up year round if I'm gonna leave them on my table. Y'all, look how pretty. And they are big, they are deep. They, these are not serving bowls, it clearly says on the bottom. These are for decorative purposes only, not for food. Yeah, I found three of them. And look at the price. $12.99, like for real, for real. I mean, friends, $12.99. I 
I'm telling you right now, Home Goods can't beat this price. TJ Maxx can't beat this price. Marshalls cannot beat this price. They are porcelain. They are great, a great weight and a great quality, y'all. Like for real, for real. And look at the details. Like I love this little squiggly line thing that it's doing. Friends, family. Oh, these are it right here. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the other gold one. Should I keep one? Because I can definitely find someplace else to put them. But these, I'm, 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 I need for y'all to, I'm, I'm about to show y'all the vision, okay? I'm about to show y'all the vision on this table so y'all can see what I was thinking, okay? For $12.99. Hold the line, please. what I'm thinking like can y'all even see let's see here I need to clean up the kitchen trash need to be taken out all of that but we're not looking at that right now okay so this is what I was thinking for the table now you guys have the picture these being filled up with like green moss you know kind of like the, the you y'all know what I'm talking about like the green moss in it, and I'm going to feel it. And that's going to give it a little more color. But I think it's going to work. I think it's going to work. It's simple, but I think it gets the job done. What y'all think? Okay, I'm going to put the moss in here, and then we're going we gonna to see how we feel about it, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no Just wanna make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter it's too late not to let it go And that's why I Wish you the best and say goodbye You start to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this does We had a good run Don't say we didn't I was your first love And you were my first one Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies, yeah Promise I won't forget, yeah Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I wish you the best and say to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this does So baby, bye It's for the best and you know why You gotta leave me here tonight Before we make this even worse It's gonna hurt even more Goodbye You start to get dressed And then we cry 
It's simple, you guys. It's so simple, and I love it. I love the fact that it's simple. The, the, the bowl is definitely the star of the show. I'm not a fan of the brown moss. To me, it just, it, it's not my thing. It doesn't give you that pop. If you're looking for just a pop of color, it really doesn't give me that pop that I'm looking for, but I love the green. What do y'all think about the green? I like it, y'all, because you can talk to the people around the table. Because when I had a bouquet of flowers there, I could not see across the table, but I like this. Because it's simple, let me know y'all thoughts, okay? Good morning and happy Sunday, you guys. I am just coming back to really close out this vlog. I did not want it to be super duper long. Um, but two, two things that I wanted to do before I close out is one, show you guys the table and how I'm feeling about it. I, you know, I'm still feeling good about it. Okay, I am. Hold on. So here it is, and I moved them a little closer for one because I felt like they were a little too spread out. And then on the styling video, they weren't quite straight, so I did straighten them, but I still love them, y'all. William got his readers right there on the table, but I'm still loving it. I am, I think. I think we're going to stick with it for a little while. So, lastly, you guys, I wanted to talk a little bit about my hormone replacement therapy journey and how I'm doing with the estradiol patch. Um, I don't know. I just feel like... We need to have a segment for this or something. I don't know because, you know, menopause is such a big part of my life. It is my life right now. And so is hormone replacement therapy. And I think, I mean, it, we, we, we need a title or something for this if we're going to talk about it. So maybe menopause moments, meno memoirs. I don't know. I don't know. You guys put your suggestions down in the comments. But I think we need to have something. I really do. I think we need to have something because, oh, these glasses. Because, um, yeah, it's a whole thing, y'all. It's a whole situation going on. But um, I'm doing well with the patch. I am happy to say that I have not had any, like, no noticeable side effects at this point in time. Um, when I posted last week's video, I that that was back in February, you guys. I had been filming until I got to the point where I didn't feel good. Okay. I'm sorry, you guys. Like, it's Sunday and... My husband had the television up so loud, so I came up here to my office. And I don't I don't come into my office too much on the weekends because I'm chained to this office during the week. So I don't want to be up here. But the TV was up loud, his phone was up loud. And so I came up here and as soon as I came up here, the man is calling me. <laughs> yeah, pray for my patience, okay? Because the, pa the patch ain't quite helped with me being irritable when... <sighs> anyway, I digress. Okay, so no noticeable side effects at this point. When I posted last week's video, most of that footage was from back in February. We are now in April, of course. So I have been wearing this patch for almost eight weeks now, you guys. So I can honestly say that everything's going well. The biggest, the biggest aha that I have gotten is that I am having zero high flashes and night sweats at this point. None. 
not a one, you guys. And I can say that within three days, less than a week, they completely stopped. And I was blown away. I have suffered with debilitating hot flashes for at least 10 years. T 10 years. <laughs> Two years, at least two years. Um, I'm 52 and I remember being very hot and several hot flashes for my 50th birthday celebration. So it's been two years plus. And I, I can't remember a day. I can't even remember an hour without hot flashes back then. So to say that I have not had a hot flash for weeks, that I have not woke up soaking wet, having to change my pajamas because of night sweats. You guys, it's been a long time. So when I tell you that is a game changer, sis, it's a game changer to say that I have not had high flashes. William even said, yeah, it's definitely, it's working for you because Man, if that man tried to come anywhere near me while we were asleep to cuddle, to do anything, baby, I was sweating and it was not good. And now it's so much better. So that gone. Okay. First thing I noticed. Second thing is that I feel like the brain fog is lifting. I don't feel like it's completely gone. I feel like there's still some issues going on where I can still kind of drift off or if someone's having a long conversation with me, I can kind of, you know, I have to make myself refocus. So the fog is lifting. It's just not gone yet. It it definitely is not, um, but it is much better. I don't feel empty inside. Like, if you've never gone through depression or, you know, sadness for, and you, and you don't know why, like it's hard to explain, but there were days when I would just sit here and feel like, whatever, I don't care about anything. I don't care about what happens. I don't care. I just want to lie down and I want everybody to leave me alone. And that's basically where I, where I was at. I felt like putting my head in the sand and just sticking it out the best way that I can, but I don't feel that way anymore. Like, I can't say that I'm feeling like taking on the world either, but that, that sense of, I just want to lie down. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to be around anyone. I don't feel that way anymore. So things are definitely looking up there. Um, I, I have a little bit more energy. Now, one thing I do notice um, is that my energy is low on the days that I need to change my patch. So I change my patch on Tuesdays and Fridays, and it's usually in the evening. Like I started from day one, I put it on, I think, eight o'clock in the evening. So I've just been continuing to do that. It's just my routine. So I put it on every Tuesday and Friday evening. But by the evening, I feel really tired. I feel like my energy is low and I'm just making notes. I make notes every Tuesday and Friday just to see if that's indeed the case or if it's just something that I'm, you know, that's just my imagination. So I have been making notes of it, but I've been feeling tired on those days. So I feel like when it's time to change the patch, I, some symptoms may, may be starting to come back, but I don't know. My doctor had already told me, Felicia, try it for a little while. Try it. See how you feel. See how many of your symptoms are still there. Is it worth you going from 0 0.50 milligrams to 0 0.75 milligrams? Is, does that make sense to you? Do you feel like that's what you need? I'm not at that point yet. I don't feel like I need an increase right now. However, in the next couple of weeks, if I feel like the fatigue is still there, if I feel like the anxiety, because that's another thing, I feel like it has not helped with the anxiety as much as I would like. I still feel anxious at different times. I still feel, I don't know, it's not so much a sense of, of dread, but I feel like, I don't know, it, it's something. There's definitely anxiety there. And... Um, so I may need more help there. 
Um, so yeah, I'm just I'm just playing it by playing it by ear. I feel like I definitely feel a lot better than what I felt like the last time I came in front of this camera. So it's doing something, you guys. It's definitely working. Um, and for those of you who reached out to me and said, Felicia, you know, it's because of you and your story that I am having a conversation about hormone replacement therapy with my doctor. Felicia, it's because of you that I've started hormone replacement therapy. And you guys, that makes my heart so happy. Not because, you know, I am um, a spokesperson for HRT because I'm not. You know, I do believe that it is the only way that you're going to put estrogen back into your body, the same estrogen that your body is was used to having in your body. Yes, I feel like hormone replacement therapy is the way to go. I um, feel like the wow yam cream and all of that is going to put any more estrogen in your body. Yes, it may help with those symptoms. It, In fact, I've heard great stories about it helping uh, with a lot of menopause symptoms. However, it is not going to put estrogen back into your body. It is just going to help you combat those um, symptoms. So, I'm so happy that a lot of you are having a conversation. I wholeheartedly feel like every menopausal woman, perimenopausal woman, deserves a conversation with their physician about hormone replacement therapy. And their physician should be open to having that conversation with them. This is not 2002 when everyone had a, a fear of cancer. Some of, some of us still have a fear of cancer. However, statistics show that hormone replacement therapy, when done the right way, is safe. It is not only safe, but you guys, the, the benefits that it has on your heart and your brain and uh, helping to prevent dementia and Alzheimer's, like the studies do not lie. So there's so many benefits there. So at least, you know, be open to the conversation is all I'm saying. And whatever you choose to do, sis, I'm going to support you in whatever because menopause is tough enough. We all deserve, we all need to be supported during this time because, yeah, having to deal with feeling like you're going crazy. Your significant others feel like you're going crazy. And sometimes you feel like you're going crazy. <laughs> but yes, it's worth it. So I'm here for you guys. And um, I'm very excited that we have at least, at least opened up the dialogue to talk about it because the stigma around it is so ridiculous. It really, really is. And I still get, you know, people who wonder why I'm talking about it. I'm talking about it because we are suffering. Many of us are suffering and it's not okay. So anyway, um, that's all I want to say about that. Now, you guys, I think that I, I really want to do a video to let you guys know how my conversation with my, with my doctor about HRT, um, what questions did I ask? Um, what made me come to the conclusion that I wanted to do the estradiol patch as opposed to the estradiol oral pill? What made me want to do that? Because that wasn't my only option. That's the option that I chose, and I can tell you guys why. So if you guys want a video of me discussing, you know, the conversation that I had, what made me choose what I chose and all that, I will happily do that. I think it could benefit many of you. Um, if you want me to talk about the questions that I wrote down that I wanted to make sure I asked my physician, everything from how many menopausal women are you currently treating? How many of those menopausal women are on HRT? And what are your views on HRT? Baby, I had questions. <laughs> Just like I said, Father God, I got questions. Eve, heifer, I got questions when it's time. Baby, I had questions for that doctor. 
Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And she answered them. So if you guys want a video about that, I will happily do that as well. Home updates, baby. I got some home updates that I still need to show you guys. I have made changes in the dining room. I have made changes in the family room. We need a whole vlog around the home updates. So that is coming up as well. I mean, a sister got a, she got a lot going on. Y'all pray for me. And I'm going to pray for y'all because it's a lot going on around here. Lots to share. And I cannot wait to share with you guys. Okay. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk today. Thank you.